guys, what's up? Hope everyone watching is doing well. In this video, we're gonna talk about the number one struggle that all freelancers face, but more specifically in this video, we're talking about freelance bookkeepers that work from home. Marketing and how to get clients. If this is our first time meeting, hi, I'm Cece Crosley. I am the freelance bookkeeper. I have about 15 years of accounting experience. I also have a day job. I am a mom, I'm a wife, and just like most of you watching, I am trying to balance my life and run a successful side business. On this channel, Bookkeeper Bootcamp, I help provide tips and resources for current freelance work from home bookkeepers like myself. And I also help guide other people who want to do exactly what I'm doing and get into freelance bookkeeping. All right guys, let's get into it. For this particular video, I went ahead and I wrote down um, my three top uh, suggestions for marketing because these are the things I did and I'm gonna be referencing my notes because I know that I can just go on a tangent and this video will end up going to like 20 minutes 30 minutes and I don't want to waste your time so all right number one in marketing is be ready to receive your clients and this is a big one because there are so many steps and you know timeline being ready to receive your clients happens in a few different steps and the first one was for me at least, it was having all of my services listed out and I packaged each one. So, you know, like what am I going to bring to the table for my client? What kind of value am I going to bring? What I did was I sat down and wrote out everything that I would plan on providing my client. Um, and then what I did was um, I made three different package groups, you know, kind of a basic, a standard, and maybe an advanced. Because uh, then I would also say, you know, the pricing, for instance, and we can get on that in another video. Um, I might also provide you guys with some links um, to go over pricing. Um, I find it just very competitive. I shop, you know, I shop the the other competitors out there for myself and, you know, check check out like what, what they're charging. So, blah. Anyway, uh, yeah, having your services package, that's going to be a really big deal. So that way you already know what you are marketing, right? That makes sense. Uh, having your online presence, a website, a Facebook page, that's extremely important. We need our clients to find us, essentially. You know, we need something for them to land on. So whether it be something extravagant and you've got a web developer friend that can hook you up with that, that's great. If not, start simple. Start very, very simple if you've got a low budget. Um, that way, you have something to put on a business card, which is part of this whole be ready to receive clients topic. You know, your business card, you can make it very simple or you can make it extravagant. How much you're willing to invest in your in yourself will ultimately pay off because you're business card, in my opinion, I mean, that's going to stand out. That's what your friends and your family and people that are handing off your card, that's what they're holding. You know, that represents you. So definitely get that taken care of. If you've got friends that are photographers, I've got so many friends that are photographers. Even my husband's a photographer. They take my headshots for me and I don't take good headshots. So, I mean, I got lucky with with the ones I have and I, I keep them forever and I use them all the time. So being ready to receive clients is number one. Number two, picking a niche so that you can get in front of the right clients. Now in the bookkeeping world, there's so many uh, niches and industries. When, and when I say niches, think industries, right? That you could, you can help with or be a part of. And the reason why you want to be um, not so general and more specific is that it makes you an expert in what you do and For accounting and sorry if you hear the crunching in the background. It's my cat. She's eating now, but um, it makes you an expert and it allows you to um, To pick in my opinion pick the the industry that you love the most so that way you enjoy doing the work and that reflects right to your clients um, but what that also does is it uh, it gives you the background uh, to go and jump into the the right Facebook groups, 
the right community groups and um, for instance I had um, a networking group so when I say community groups I also mean like networking groups there are a bunch of free ones out there guys where entrepreneurs just like you and me because that's what we are they get together and they meet up and see about how they can network I was invited to a BNI um, networking group which was awesome I had about a week almost two weeks um, where I could just meet with them see if I liked it it was completely free I got my business cards out there I got a lot of different contacts and um, a few clients as well so take advantage of those things and by niching down you're able to say be a bookkeeper for Amazon sellers right those um, I don't know, FBR am I saying that right uh, the there's a lot of Amazon entrepreneurs out there. That's a really, really good niche to get into. Another really good one would be real estate. Um, when you start to niche down, then you can, you don't have to worry about being so general. You can speak the language and learn about all the technical things um, and financial things that those clients are looking for. So that way you can start to hone in on those skills. So that's another reason to niche down. Uh, and get in front of the right clients, let's see, and taking advantage of that industry, um, that that's what you want to do. When, and when I say taking advantage of the industry, for instance, um, think, think uh, wedding seasons, right? Um, when you're dealing with, say, you want to do, what are they called? Um, cosmetologists. Uh, there, I have so many friends that are, you know, in and out of cosmetology schools, or they're starting their own um, laser tattoo, you know, the, the eyebrow thing, micro, microblading? Yeah, never done it. But I have a lot of friends in that industry where, you know, they're about, they want to go legit now and they want to, they want to know how to hook up their square properly or now they need to calculate their taxes. So maybe being a startup bookkeeper in, you know, where you help, you help cosmetologists, that's your niche, that's your specific expertise. And there's a ton of them. I'm going to make a video, I promise, on my top niches for uh, bookkeeping. Just stay tuned for that. And lastly, number three, communicate effectively. And what I mean by that is now that we have people hitting your um, website or your Facebook or both, you need to be able to respond to those clients effectively, meaning figuring out what it is that they want fast and responding back whether or not you can do those services. So having those services listed out really helps. And also um, creating a questionnaire to give to your clients, maybe a little uh, survey to help figure out what it is they need. That is really helpful in time, um, time saving? Yeah, time saving. So definitely think about doing something like that and getting that done way before you start marketing yourself or you know, before you roll out your marketing plan. Um, using your friends and family, that is a huge, huge deal. And the reason why I, you know, a lot of people say, oh yeah, you know, I don't, I feel weird about telling my friends and family that I'm, you know, doing this and pushing my business off on, on them. What it really does is it helps you gain the confidence to start marketing yourself to other people. Whether it be your friends and family, you know, they might be biased because they love you, they'll know that this is what you do now. A lot of my clients come from friends and family that know that I'm a freelance bookkeeper and they hand in my card and say, hey, call Cece, she does X, Y, Z things, I think she can help you. And if I can't, I communicate that I can't, but I usually have lots of colleagues that can. So being specific to what they want, I might not be able to do it, but you know, Joe and Jane down the road might be able to. So I also communicate to my clients or my clients that I can't take that, hey, I can't do it, but go here. And that would be, you know, that would be what I would want as a customer looking for services. Um, so response time, I think is a huge, huge deal when you're communicating, um, whether it be call, text, email, uh, make sure that you're getting in the habit of communicating and you'll do just fine. Okay, bonus tip. Um, I was thinking about all the other things um, that I do um, that didn't cost me a lot, especially starting off. And it was pairing up or um, partnering up with other professionals in this business. 
and I kind of briefly just mentioned, right, that I would send um, other clients that I couldn't serve down to Joe and Jane bookkeeping uh, because I do have and I do keep a lot of bookkeeping buddies and colleagues within my circle because I find that, you know, that's how I get the majority of my clients is through other bookkeepers. And I also pair up with a CPA. And a lot you'll find that there's a lot of CPAs that want to pair up with bookkeepers because we work hand in hand. We prepare the books, make sure that we we all talk the same language. Sometimes your client I mean, that's your job, right? You're doing the finances and the books. Your client's usually thinking about other things in their business aspect that they need to be focusing on. You know, whether it be sales, what what have you, customer service. Your job is the books and the finances. So when you're able to connect the dots for them and say, hey, I have a CPA buddy that I work with and I go to them to take care of my client's taxes. You just made yourself more money, more income, because you can provide a higher level of service, maybe not exactly from you, but with your connection. So bonus tip, pair up with the CPA and a bunch of uh, bookkeeping buddies. It has been a great, great successful tool for me. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope it was helpful and straight to the point. Um, I do believe that you can do these things um, that I mentioned with little or no budget. It just depends on how much work or sacrificing you're willing to do. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or other topics that you'd like me to talk about. This video was brought on by a comment um, I, and some emails that I've gotten from viewers or other clients or other students that have always asked me, how do I market myself? I'm not a marketer. I'm not either, but I needed to figure out a way how to get in front of my target clients so I could get that income rolling. Um, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos that I'll be posting out, uh, like my top 11 niche ideas. That'll be rolling out here soon. And in the springtime, I will be rolling out my um, online course, quick and to the point, about how to be a freelance bookkeeper from home. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.